Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today, uh, I think, I think it's about one or two weeks later with the Moto G. I've been using it, playing around with it, um, and so far, a lot of good things about this device. Even though it's extremely cheap, and uh, the picture quality, taking video, is amazing. Uh, you can't really play intense gaming on this um, particular smartphone because it, it won't handle it. But uh, small little 8 or 16 bit video games uh, works great on this. So uh, I think on the last video I didn't go over uh, IP rating which is, is why I got a bucket of water here. Boot time and as well as benchmarking. So this video is basically a continuation as well as a nice little my, my two cents on the phone. So it's completely off, as you can see there's a the time. We're going to boot the device up and see how long it takes. And it's booted up, awesome, good to go. Uh, it looks like it takes about, um, give or take, I would say 20 to 30 seconds for it to boot up, which is not that bad. All right, guys, so let's take care of the benchmarking part of this video. So I like to use Geekbench 3. Uh, one of the reasons why I like to use Geekbench 3 because they have a uh, a battery uh, section. So a full 100% on the Moto G gave me about 7 hours of uh, life, which is not that bad. It's basically like 8 hours. Uh, it looks like it will last for uh, a work day, you know, 9 to 5 kind of thing. And then as soon as you get home, you have to plug it in and charge it up. But with the results, it looks like with 100%, it gave me straight off seven hours with uh, no problem which is pretty good one thing that i forgot to tell you guys on my hands-on review on the moto g 2015 phone uh, is that is it doesn't have a removable battery so the battery is actually embedded no battery uh, you are able to take the casing out and the only thing that you could do is insert a micro sd as well as your sim but you guys got to make sure that you put this back securely because if not it's not going to be waterproof so I really recommend when you do take out the casing to make sure you put nice even pressure throughout the entire casing and make sure it is completely sealed because on the next thing that I'm going to do guys is I am going to drop it inside water so we're going to test this out because apparently this is capable of uh, boop, no this is capable of uh, placing it in water and surviving. So I'm mean, just gonna hit the record. Hey, it's recording. And we're gonna just drop it in the water. so it's completely under the water and as you can see it's still working still running I really advise you guys if you take off the pad in the bottom that you make sure that you securely seal this because if not um, oh, this is one of the problems with this is when it's wet um, touch screen does not work so you gotta make sure that the touch screen is really dry before you guys um, can actually start using it but uh, if you, if you want to record something underneath the water hey you could do it just make sure you start the video before you go underneath the water uh, and you won't be able to manage it with any of the settings overall guys I've been using the phone for about a week and a half two weeks so far and I'm loving it um, it works pretty good. It is an extremely basic phone. I will really recommend uh, for those that are getting away from a BlackBerry or a flip phone. Hopefully you guys are not using a flip phone. But if you are and you're looking for something that's not going to uh, put a hole in your pocket, the Moto G is a smartphone for you. It's extremely light. Uh, it's right there in the budget. It's not going to cost you $300. I think it's unlocked already so you're able to take it to your carrier, which is pretty great. Uh, one of the things I like about this is because it has, I think I enable motion features, so if I shake it, it turns on the light. I think if I shake it again. I, I like those features. Those features are pretty awesome. One of the things that freaks me out a lot when I first started using this phone is that 
uh, eventually that happens. Like certain movements, the time pops up, which is pretty awesome. And one of the things I don't like about is you actually have to press the power button to actually unlock it. So when I see that time, let's see if that time pops up. So eventually when the time pops up, you will want to slide it up, but it doesn't go through for me all the time. I actually have to press the power button and then slide up or unlock it. One of the things I don't like about that, I don't know if it only happens to me or I'm not using the device correctly or not. But uh, overall guys, for uh, the price that this smartphone has, it's great. 